Most GCSE students skip this question when it was asked in their exam. If this would have been you, it's not looking good, Mike. Make sure you pay attention to this video and save it to a playlist for when it comes to your future revision. This is indices. It's got powers in it, isn't it? So we have M is all of this. Horrible looking stuff. Find the value of N when M is 2. So we're going to sub in M is 2 and somehow find the value of N which are all in the powers. Now usually it's much easier because, you know, if you have 2 here you would have like 16, 4 and 8 and you can rewrite everything as a power of 2. But in this case you have 2 and 3, 18 and 12. So it looks like we're going to have to rewrite everything as either base 2, 3. And yeah, that's it actually. <laughs> so 18, we need to somehow rewrite it so that the base has 2 and maybe 3. And we can do that by thinking about our prime factors. Never thought that would exist in a question like this, right? Well, 18 is 3 times 6 and 6 is 3 times 2. Okay, now with 12, we've got uh, 3 and 4, 2 and 2. Okay, so 18, 18 is 2 times 3 squared. And 12 is 2 squared times 3. And that's where we can replace them here. So we have m is 2 is 18. 18 is 2, I'm just going to write a dot 3 squared to represent times. Oh, no, I forget, I'll just put it there. To power 4 in. Uh, times... 2 to the power of, I'm actually going to start expanding this, 3n squared minus 18n. Making sure I don't make any silly mistakes. Times 3 to the power of 2 minus 8n. Divided by 12, which we know is 2 squared times 3 uh, raised to the power of 2. Right, now, how do we sort this out? Um, I mean, there's loads of things I can do here. I think what I'm going to do is get rid of these brickets. How do I do that? I get 2 is. Now, when you have multiplication, so like this, when you have a times b raised to the power of n, you distribute that power of n. It'll become a to the power of n times b to the power of n. So here, that 4 to the power of n, I'm going to distribute it to both of these powers. It's a multiplication. Okay, so you can think of these as a to the power of 1, b to the power of 1. You're doing n times 1, n times 1, just n. Okay, if that was squared, you'd have 2n. Yeah, you're multiplying them. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 4n, because remember that's power 1. 1 times 4n is 4n. But here, that 3 squared, I'm going to have to multiply these to distribute that power. Okay, so knowing that fact, what are we left with? Man, I do not like that smudge. Okay. What you got? 2 to the power of 4n times 2 times 4n is 8n, so 3 to the power of 8n times 2 to the power of all this. I'm going to do it like this actually. Times 2 to the power of 3n squared minus 18n times 3, 2 minus 8n, all divided by, here again, we're distributing that power, so 2 times 2 is 4, we get 2 to the power of 4, uh, times just 3 squared, now remember we're not simplifying these, because now look, everything is in terms of base 3 and base 2, that is beautiful mate, the next thing we're going to do, is we are multiplying numbers with the same base, what do we do in that situation? We add the powers, okay? So these, I'm going to add their powers. And then I'm going to do the same with the power threes. 4n plus this. So we have 3n squared. So we have 2 to the power of 3n squared. Then we have 4n minus 18n. Because remember, you're adding them. Plus minus is just minus. 4n minus 18n is minus 12n. Then we have times 3. Now we're going to do the same thing with the base 3s. Going to add the powers. Oh, the 8 ends cancel. Nice. You're just left with 3 squared. 
Nice. And that's going to cancel the three squared in the denominator. Yes, mate. Yes. Uh, wait. Yeah. Times three squared. So yeah, you have three squared on the top and the bottom. Yeah, when you divide, they just cancel each other out. Okay, nice. Now, what are we left with? Let me write this two equals in line. Okay. Now, what some students might do here is they might multiply through by 2 to the power 4. And if you did that, not a problem. Okay. Uh, if you multiply these together, guys, you would get 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power of 1. Which you add the powers, right? So, remember this. Divide. Multiply. So, we're going to get... And the other way you could have done is you could have divided these and then subtract the powers. You could just have 3n squared minus 12n minus 4. But I think a lot of students here, they would just multiply through by the denominator. Okay, so we're going to add those powers. 2 to the power of 5 is 2 to the power of 3n squared minus 12n. So this whole question basically is a question of cleaning up this horrible looking thing. Now look. 2 to the power of 5 is 2 to the power of this thing. How can powers of 2 ever be the same? It's if the powers are the same. Yeah, so we can just ignore this base 2 and just say 5 is 3n squared minus 12n. And this positive 5, we're going to move it to the other side and solve the quadratic. A positive 5 on the left side will become a minus 5 on the right. Now let's solve it. Ain't nobody using AC, bun AC. We're going to use my oi oi method. All right. What things multiply to give you five? One and five. Okay, so I'm going to put one and five in there. Then we're going to see if this can ever make 12. Okay. Well, uh, in this case, we've got actually, am I boogin? 12. 4. Minus 18. Did I say that was minus 12? I swear someone tricked me there. There's no way 4 minus 18 is minus 12. 4 minus 18 is minus 14. Someone whispered in my ear something. And, you know, I understand the assignment now. That should have been 14. I could just see that. This was... So I did 3 times 5 is 15. And then 1 and n is not going to make 12. So I knew something was up. So it was that middle term I knew something was up. That's how I clocked this. So we've got 3n times 5 is 15n. And this gives me 1n. How does 15n and 1n make minus 14? Is if you have minus 15 plus 1. So you have minus plus. All right, that's quick time factorized. Just make sure you guys know what 4 minus 18 is. So you have 3n plus 1. 3n plus 1. Is zero? Yeah, you have two brackets multiplying to give you zero. So one of them has to be zero. Or n minus five is zero. Add the five over. n is five. Here you're going to minus the one. So you get three n is minus one. And then you divide both sides by three. You get minus one third. And that is our answer. Yeah, that is, I admit, quite an intense question. So guys, make sure you uh, save this video as part of a playlist your GCSE revision uh, and like this video if you learned something today subscribe for more mass content hit my Lung Gang reddit if you want to submit questions join the community to discuss more maths than that and if you're interested in my maths courses link in the description see you in the next video nice